get out my Got to the cash and get out my bag, boy Please don't think it's sweet, I stay with the heat Even though I'm a sad boy You better watch the way you breathe around me For the breath be last, boy to talk about Muay Thai. All people are created equal, but not all cultures are equal. And the culture of Muay Thai is evil. And this evil has leached its way into the sport of mixed martial arts and major promotions like the UFC. I recently made a video on Khalil Roundtree and many ignorant people commented on that video telling me that Khalil's use of triangle hand signs was not a way of signaling his affiliation to elite secret societies like the Freemasons and the Illuminati, but was just Khalil showing respect to his Muay Thai roots by doing the Y crew. But what these fools fail to realize is that Muay Thai is demonic at its very root. So just how evil is this martial art? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. There is true freedom. A freedom that no one can take from you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Charles also weighed in 146 pounds. In 17 fights, his record. Most MMA fans are going to be very familiar with the sport of Muay Thai, but not many are actually familiar with the roots, rituals, and symbolism used within this sport. So Muay Thai is an ancient combat sport that developed out of real martial arts used by Thai warriors hundreds of years ago. And as religions like Hinduism and Buddhism spread their influence throughout the country that would become Thailand, the sport of Muay Thai, as well as Thai traditional religion, incorporated many Hindu and Buddhist elements, resulting in over 90% of modern Thai people practicing Buddhism today. The dominant school of Buddhism in Thailand today is Theravada Buddhism, but the vast majority of Thais also incorporate traditional animist, spiritualist, and pagan elements into their belief system. Muay Thai was often taught at temples and has always contained a heavy spiritual element that still exists in the modern sport and which has leached its way into MMA and the UFC. Muay Thai involves the use of traditional pieces of clothing that have heavy spiritual significance to Thai fighters. These being the Mong Khan or Mong Ko, a traditional headdress, as well as the Pra Jihad, which are the armbands you often see Thai fighters using before they fight. These pieces of clothing were originally worn in battle for good luck as well as to ward off harmful spirits. The Mong Khan or Mong Kol is a headband worn by Thai fighters and is often seen being sported by MMA fighters in the UFC. The word itself literally translates into English as Holy Spirit, Luck, or Protection. This headdress has significant spiritual meaning to the Thai people, and it is common for Thai fighters to present their Mong Khan to a Buddhist monk before stepping into the ring to fight in order to bless it for good luck and protection. The Mong Khan should never be in any way close to the ground, or else Thai people believe it loses its worth. This has led to the development of special storage places high off the ground for this headgear, as even stepping over it is believed to remove its mystical properties. Furthermore, a fighter's special Mong Khan should only ever be handled by that fighter himself or his teacher. 
because if anyone else touches it, it is believed to also lose its magical power. As mentioned, the Prajihad is a armband used by many TIE fighters even to this day. In the past, the use of the Prajihad was to give confidence and luck to warriors, and this tradition has carried on into the modern sport of Muay Thai. Similarly to the Mong Khan, the Prajihad must be kept in a high or well-revered place, as it is thought that if someone steps over it or drops it or even brings it close to the ground, it will lose its spiritual power. The Prajihad carries spiritual significance within the context of the Y crew ceremony, as fighters perform this ritualistic dance, also known as the Ram Moi, the Prajiyad serves as a focal point for channeling energy and invoking spirits. It is believed that the Prajiyad acts as a conduit between the physical and spiritual realms, giving the wearer strength, courage, and protection during combat. Both the Mong Khan and the Prajiyad are used in the traditional Muay Thai ritualized ceremony of the Y crew. So let's dive into that. The Y crew Ram Moy, usually simply referred to as the Y crew or the Ram Moy, is a ritual performed by Thai fighters before they fight. And it draws inspiration from traditional Thai spiritualist beliefs as well as Hinduism and Buddhism. The full name means the war dance saluting the guru. As Y is a traditional Thai form of greeting, Kru is the Thai translation of the Sanskrit word guru meaning teacher, Ram is the Thai word for classical dancing, and Moi is the Thai word for boxing. This ritual is typically broken into two parts, the Y Kru and the Ram Moi. The first, the Y Kru, shows reverence for traditional Thai culture and spiritual beliefs, whereas the second, the Ram Moi, shows reverence for the fighter's teacher and ancestors. So we can already see here that Muay Thai is underpinned by ancestor worship, the belief of false gods and idols, as well as spirit channeling. The Y crew, just like Muay Thai itself, traces its roots back hundreds of years to when Thai fighters would perform this ritual to monks before battle to ask for their blessings of protection. The Y crew ceremony is an elaborate ritual that uses a lot of symbolism. Upon entering the ring, fighters circle in a counterclockwise direction and pray at each corner. They bow their heads at every corner three times in salutation to Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha of monks. Buddha is, of course, the founder and namesake of the religion of Buddhism. Do you know what I'd do the Buddha if I saw this? That fire, yo, Buddha stepped to me. Knee him right in his Gaziev gut. Flabby gut, dude. And I'd start whipping him around like a stupid, Fat monkey. You know what I do? I catch Buddha lacking after like a 20 day dry fast where he hasn't even drank a sip of water. Throw his ass into the Ganges, bro. Buddha taught a number of beliefs that are antithetical to Christianity, such as the rejection of the belief in a creator God, the rejection of permanence and of a permanent unchanging soul, and the idea that humans are responsible for their own salvation. Buddhists are taught to attempt to cease worldly desire and let go of trust in anything outside of themselves. As you can see, this is an extraordinarily egotistical worldview. They also believe in reincarnation and the idea that life and death are cyclical, with life and death continuing until enlightenment is achieved. Dharma is a central concept in many Indian religions such as Hinduism and Buddhism. The word itself does not have a direct translation into English or many other European languages, but it can be interpreted generally as referring to behaviors which are in harmony with order and custom that sustains life. In Buddhism specifically, Dharma refers to the teachings of the Buddha himself as well as cosmic law and phenomena. Buddha taught that in order to end suffering, Dharma, or the right thoughts, understanding, actions, and livelihood should be cultivated. 
the last concept or belief that Thai fighters pay respect or reverence to during the Y crew is the Sangha of the monks. Sangha is a word that means association, assembly, company, or community. In Buddhism, the term refers to monastic orders of monks and nuns, and also forms part of the term for someone who is considered to have attained any of the four stages of enlightenment. So, after the Thai fighters do the first part of the ritual called the Y Crew, where they bow three times in each corner of the ring to pay reverence to Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha of the monks, they go on to perform the second component of the ritual called the Ram Moy. The movements of the Ram Moy, which is a ritualized dance, are said to be based on the movements of Hanuman. Hanuman is a Hindu deity considered to be the god of wisdom, strength, courage, devotion, and self-discipline. So we can already see parallels between this Hindu deity and more Western deities such as Thoth from Egypt, Hermes from Greece, and Mercury from Italy. Some sources also consider Hanuman to be the patron god of the martial arts, and this belief is widespread in Thailand. It is unclear exactly what Hanuman's name means, but it is suggested that it may mean one having a disfigured jaw, due to a legend where infant Hanuman mistakes the sun for a fruit, heroically attempts to reach it, and is wounded in the jaw for his attempt by Indra, the king of gods. Here we can see direct parallels to Lucifer and Satan in Christian theology. Lucifer the light bearer is associated with sun worship and rebellion against God, which caused him to be cast from heaven like lightning and for his great beauty to become disfigured. It should be noted that Hanuman's special day is Saturday or Saturn's day and Saturn is also associated with Satan. In fact, many Luciferians consider Satan's act of rebellion against God to be heroic, as is his act of bringing forbidden knowledge to mankind. In Thailand specifically, Hanuman is conceptualized as a little bit different than he is in India. The majority of the themes and attributes are the same, but whereas in India, Hanuman is considered to have been celibate for his entire life, in Thailand, he is considered to be a flirtatious and promiscuous god who even engaged in rape, sexual assault against other deities. As mentioned previously, the Y Crew Ram Moy is heavily linked to the traditional Thai garments called the Mong Khan and the Prajihad. These pieces of clothing hold deep cultural and spiritual significance and are often incorporated into the ritual to enhance its meaning and symbolism. Another topic we should discuss is the Thai magic tattoo. In Thai, these are called Sak Yant which means sacred or blessed tattoo. And this word traces its roots to the Sanskrit word yantra, which refers to sacred geometric patterns used in tantric Hinduism and Buddhism. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't touch me while I'm tantric. Tantric? What the fuck is tantric? Tantra is an esoteric yoga tradition, and the word itself means expansion device or salvation spreader. These tattoos are used by many Muay Thai fighters to accentuate the rituals they practice, as well as by many UFC fighters who have trained in Muay Thai gyms in Thailand, such as Khalil Roundtree. Thai magic or sacred tattoos are applied to an individual's skin using a bamboo stick and a hand poke technique by a tattoo artist known as an ajarn, which means teacher or professor in Thai. The process is considered to be a sacred ritual involving chanted prayers, blessings by monks, and spirit channeling. Such tattoos are believed to offer a variety of blessings, such as protection from harm and good luck. 
So I think it should be fairly evident that Muay Thai is demonic. It incorporates the worship of ancestors, the channeling of spirits, the worship of false gods and idols, as well as the use of sacred magical images like the blessed tattoos of Thai artists. And Thai fighters believe that these rituals have a direct impact on their success. We can see the demonic influences on display in the history of the sport as well as these rituals that are still practiced to this day. So before you think about dabbling in Muay Thai, think again. For what is a man profited if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Listen, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because I am the only MMA YouTuber covering the sport from a real spiritual aspect. Turn the bell notification on so you don't miss a single thing and consider joining my members if you want to support the channel and get access to bonus content. And speaking of my members, I would like to give a massive thank you to all my channel members and a special thanks to my Lion Tier members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and without all of you, the channel would not be possible. So the Pharisees are on me, they're behind me, they're throwing stones at me right now. We gotta dip, we gotta get out of here right now. Demon possessed man on my right, I'm praying over him right now. He's cracked, he's cracked.